how she wants you to approach her. I'm going to give you guys 10 ways and 10 tips really to clarify how to approach women from a woman myself. I'm going to really dive in with you on this video and give you those details because this has happened to me myself and I've interviewed a amount of enormous amount of women in regards to this topic. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. I am a dating and relationship coach for you men to master your attractive skills, confidence, and to build a love life and relationship and dating life overall. Now let's get to it. So in these tips, I'm going to give you tactics and what women think. Number one is you always want to smile and give eye contact. Duh. I mean, this is pretty easy, right? But let me explain here. A lot of times when a guy will approach us, we don't see him coming. He'll approach us from behind or something like that. Always be aware that you're somewhat making us eye contact with this woman or smiling, especially if you're passing each other by the street, let's just say. Maybe she didn't realize who you were or didn't see you, that's okay. But somewhat of a smile and eye contact is very important in the approach which we're gonna go into. Tip number two is there's nothing wrong with saying this line. I hear so many people saying something like, oh, this is too, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is too cliche, it's too original. But like, I don't know why in this industry we're taught to like do all these random like pickup lines and give you 20 pickup lines and think that this is gonna work. I do believe certain pickup lines work, just stick to one or two of them, but it doesn't have to be that intense. So number two is just come up to a woman and say something like, I just wanted to come over here and tell you dot, 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 dot. So for example, what you can say is, I just wanted to come over here and tell you that you really caught my eye. My name is perfect. You've already got your opening and I'm going to go into opening and a little bit of rejection in this video as well. Tip number three, understand personal space. And when you approach a woman, the technique that you have to do to make her feel somewhat comfortable in that initiation stage is back away. So when you approach a woman, you're like the first, let's just say you did the first thing is I just wanted to come over here and tell you, you caught my eye. My name is Eric. Now you're going to back away a little bit because you're not, don't you want to show her that you're not entering your personal, her personal space. One tactic that I teach in my how to approach uh, product is to make sure that you're uh, legs are kind of like an L when you approach a woman because it shows that you're not directly in her circle and her personal space that you have an option to walk away or stay. So you always picture when you stand and you approach a woman and you back away, put your feet in the L because of the fact that you don't want to go into her personal space because the first thing a woman is thinking when you approach her is either how long am I going to have to talk to this guy or two, is he crazy or is he going to hurt me, right? Because as women, that's our automatic defense as a woman. And that's our automatic guard that has been inherited in us as well. So you don't want to also get touchy with a woman as well. When you do approach her early on, you don't want to, Oh, you're so funny. Ha ha. And you talk to her and you touch her, um, arms and things like that. This is not what you want to do. You're just approaching and conversating in the first, anywhere from the first 30 seconds to the first two minutes. Okay guys. Now the next tip, tip number four, be aware of your tonality and your facial expressions, right? So there's a difference between saying a sentence like I like healthy food, let's just say, okay. Or, and you want to say it in a more compassionate way or a more loving way. You know, I really love healthy food. That's different. Or you want to say it maybe in an angry way. I hate healthy food. Do you see the facial expressions? are completely different. I can even say I love healthy, healthy food. I love healthy food. Do you see how it's so different because your tonality and your facial expressions are different? So what I'm saying, I said, I love healthy food, but it was really confusing when I said that because it looked like I really didn't. I was angry, you know? So here's the thing is tonality and facial expressions is so, so important guys. And when we approach women, this, and when you approach women, excuse me, this is something that we pay attention to because it also shows confidence in my, how to approach product. I actually give you activities to do, to start to change this. If you struggle with it, or if you don't even know if you're doing the tonality and facial expressions the right way. Tip number five is learn environment tactics when you pick up or when you talk to women and engage with them and then learn how to push forward. Okay. This is a lot here guys. So let me explain a little bit in regards to the environment pickup. Let's just say that you're somewhere that every common person probably goes to in the United States at least and in the other the country, but Starbucks. 
and you see a cute girl in line, let's just say, for example, and she's standing right behind you and you're like, okay, I do want to talk to this girl. All right. We'll turn around and say, wow, environment tactics. You're picking up on the environment in the coffee shop. You're talking to her about something in the coffee shop. This is environment tactic. I even ask a question as well. And you turn around and you look at her and you say, you know, I come here all the time and I always have gotten the same coffee for the past five years. And today I'm feeling a little daring. Do you have any recommendations of some good coffee? What do you typically get? Bam. Environment, talking, you get her and engage automatically with you. And this is where you can read her body language and you can crack some jokes here and there. You can talk and you can get her to engage. Well, you know, she can say something like, I really do like the white chocolate mocha. Oh, okay. But isn't that a holiday a holiday cafe or a latte, whatever you want to call it. And she says, she'll engage and you say, no. Okay. Well, wonderful. Now engage a little bit more with her, right? So the conversation you want to do is pick up on something that she's saying, right? Yeah. I come here all the time too. I'm a big coffee drinker and blah, blah, blah. Since when have you been a big coffee drinker? I've been a coffee drinker since I was like 10 years old. How about you? Wow. 10 years old. That's so long ago. That's been, that's such an early age to drink coffee. I started when I was about 20 in college, when I was in college. Oh, really? What did you go to college for? Guys, engage, pick up on the cues. What I always say is pick up on that one word, question her, because this is how you push forward with a woman. You're not standing, staying on the coffee. Do you see how quick I did that in a conversation with my own self? We got away from coffee right away, right? So this is the point, guys, is environment, engage, and push forward. Push forward is picking up on those little cues that the girl talks about. So then you can engage. Now the conversation gets a little bit more interesting to her. Okay. You're not going to interrogate her because at that point she'll somewhat ask you those questions. If you see some interest going through there, I also teach you how a girl can give you the number in my, how to approach product. And this is something that I walk you through guys. So tip number six, do not make her jump through a hoop early on. Okay. So <laughs> this is something that I see so much. Like a guy tries to escalate early on in the first like two to three minutes. And I'm like, no, what are you doing? We can't do this. Right. Because of the fact that she hasn't built the trust or comfort for you just in this amount of time, you're only tactic right now. Your only responsibility is to make this woman feel comfortable that you are not a serial killer, that you are a guy that is just a normal guy wanting to have a conversation with this woman. That's your only responsibility at this point. I'm going to give you an example of what I mean of one of what one of my clients did. Um, one of the women that he was talking to, for example, asked him, where are you from? And his response was, well, where does it look like I'm from? Okay. You do not make her jump through hoops early on because she is giving you time to talk to her guys right now. So immediately she's going to be like, gosh, this is so lame when a guy says this to you because she doesn't want to jump through hoops. You are the one that's talking to her. When she starts jumping through your hoops is when we get her to the attraction stage on a date. And that's what I talk about on my how to escalate cheat sheet guys. So that is so, so important is we do not let a woman jump through hoops or we do not want her to jump through hoops early on in the approach stage. Tip number seven is you have to push forward what some may call stack forward and do not have this Barbara Walter technique guys. Barbara Walter technique means you're not stacking forward. So for instance, my last example where she was like, oh yeah, I started drinking coffee when I was 20 years old in college. Oh, what college did you go to? That's the example of stocking forward. And a sample of Barbara Walters is, oh yeah, so I started drinking coffee when I was 20 years old. Oh, cool. So where are you from? So what do you like to do? So what's your favorite color? Are you single? Do you see what I mean? Like they have no relevance behind what the organic conversation is happening here. And this is what a lot of men do when they get nervous and they don't understand the technique behind approaching and talking to women. Tip number eight is do not try to make a woman stay. You can learn from the rejection and learn from what you might have done wrong in your approaches and understand that when you approach women, it doesn't mean it's supposed to go your way every single time. We got to release the attachment and not be outcome oriented because a lot of people will tell men stay there no matter what. And I am not a big believer in that because as a woman, when a, when a guy does that, 
it just puts a really bad taste in my mouth and it just does not work for me. And I do believe that if a woman is trying to walk away, do not make her stay with you. Meaning like, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Let's just talk for five more minutes. No, don't do that. If she is showing you and she's not interested or she wants to pull away, let her pull away, pick up on the signal, shake her hand. It was like talking to you. I had a great conversation. You have amazing, amazing charisma about yourself. You carry yourself really well as a woman. Have a wonderful day. Bam. You just walked away with integrity guys. All right. You controlled that situation. All right. Tip number nine is conscious vulnerability, which a lot of people will call the ability to emote, but I like to call this conscious vulnerability because of the fact that we are being honest, authentic, but also we are being conscious enough to not to think that if we share vulnerability, we are getting something from this person. And this is a tactic that I share with my guys that are really introverted, really shy, um, really like throw up before they talk to women, which I've seen so much before. And I've had to coach them through this. Um, I don't do a lot of infield anymore. I do more of the product because I show a lot in my product because I've noticed that this right here is all you need guys. Um, and I really, really do encourage you to look at this product because it's literally the keys of picking up women from a woman, from a woman, excuse me. So one of the best things that you understand here is conscious vulnerability is really significant to guys that are ultimately shy and so nervous that they feel like they're going to faint, pass out or throw up. It happens. Now, one of the biggest things that I have had guys do before is actually go up to a girl and tell them that they were shy. And it actually does the opposite and makes a woman stay with you because she feels bad. Now, key thing here is it does not help with attraction, but it does give you the ability to emote and ability to show vulnerability and be in the present moment with her and then get you to scale higher to break the nerves. So what I typically teach guys and what I talk about in my how to approach product is to be honest and say something like, I'm a little nervous right now approaching you, but I'm trying to get better with approaching women and approaching people because I'm really, really shy. And the woman's going to react and be like, wow, that's so amazing. Oh, like those type of stuff. Now the, all, oh, yeah, I get it guys, but we're going to build from attraction from there. And that's what I teach you in the product as well. So that is one technique that you can use if you are a very shy, introverted guy. Next tip is the best tip of them all. Tip number 10 is positively misinterpret shit test, right? So if you're engaging with a girl and this could be anywhere at a bar, this can be not even how to approach. This can be used in daily tactics with men, women, people, coworkers, everything. Let's say for example, someone says, Oh my God, that shirt is so ugly. Why do you, did you even wear that shirt? Oh, really? I'd love this shirt. My God, my grandmother got this for me like 10 years ago. And I just wear it all the time. Cause it reminds me of her. You just made that person feel like shit. So you see what I mean? Like you always have to positively misinterpret, especially when someone shit tests you, because it's like, as though it went over your head, you don't care. It didn't bother your emotions. And literally you're standing integrity and integrity, and you don't care what that other person is saying, meaning, or thinks about you. So another thing that you can do is, um, think of it when someone should test you or does something like this to you is like, is if they really gave you a compliment and look at it from that angle and how to respond guys, if you want to get better with approaching women and understanding this tactic behind this and real authentic approach, right? There's a lot of things out there that will te are teaching men approach, which are great and good, but I'm sharing with you in this product, what to do afterwards. And it's really, really vital. I've gotten so many men breakthroughs with this product. I mean, you can see for yourself, check it out in the description box below. As always, I welcome your comments, questions, concerns. I'm here for you. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Remember you are always loved. Bye for now.